call your shot, hit your shot, or own your mistake. And that brings me back to a little game that I play with a lot of, lot of nieces and nephews and friends and kids that visit our house. I was taught how to do movement target marksmanship. A uh, guy named Chief AJ had me at one of his rifle camps. We get these Red Rider BB guns. We put silver BBs in it, not gold BBs. We make consistent throwing targets. We make them out of water bottles. We shoot a little goop in the bottom so they all weigh the same. You throw those things up and you don't use the sights. Both eyes open, you just shoulder the BB gun and hit it. Now, I'll do a demonstration and, and most days without a warm up, I'm better than 50%. Give me two rounds, I'm about 80, 90% hitting every thrown target with a BB. Um, I'm not throwing them out that far, 15, 20 feet. But um, when I hand the BB gun off, people just start, they, they run through 10 bottles, didn't hit anything. And then I say, call your misses. We know you missed every time, but I don't know where you missed. See, you're just thinking I missed. You don't know left, right, over, under. And since it's a silver BB and it's going less than 300 feet per second, you can see it. And so the minute I have the young quarterback, the young pitcher call his misses, the next round, we start getting some hits. They're not impressive, but it went from impossible to possible to better consistency to damn good. But you don't get there without calling your misses. And, and we're in a environment right now that when I make people call their misses, they think I'm shaming them. They just want their participation trophy and their pizza supper. And I'm like, oh, I thought you came here for, for skill acquisition and expertise. Call your misses. I got to call every miss I do, even if I call it silently in my head and then reconfigure. And that's deliberate practice in a nutshell.